Hello everyone, I'm Fan. Today I'll introduce this spaced out lab room. Since we activated the DLC, researching tier three tech requires rad bolts. I usually prefer using the radiation from Weeswort to generate rad bolts instead of relying on the manual rad bolt generator. On classic asteroids with DLC, you'll find enough Weeswort's, but on smaller ones, you may need to find them from secondary asteroids. Through the radiation overlay, we can see the radiation intensity and range of the Weeswort's. Three Weeswort's already produce enough radiation for early game research. If we plant too many, the radiation might get too strong and cause our duplicants to get sick. These rad bolts are generated by the rad bolt generator and fired to the right. The first reflector redirects them to the lower left. If the research station hasn't reached its rad bolt capacity, the bolts will enter and be used. If it's already full, the bolts pass through the station's receiver and enter the second reflector, which then sends them back to the first reflector, forming a loop. It's important to note that rad bolts decay during flight, so it's necessary to assign enough research tasks and raise the priority of the tier three research station. Otherwise, you're just wasting power, even though the radiation from Weeswort's is unlimited. Keep in mind that rad bolts decay during flight, so it's important to assign plenty of research tasks and increase the priority of the tier three research station. You can also raise the threshold of the rad bolt generator. That way, when the research station is full, duplicants will prioritize research. While they're working, the excess rad bolts in the loop will continue to be absorbed into the station until the research is finished or the bolts are used up or the duplicants go to rest. Another thing we need to understand is the bonus detection tile. Every building has a different detection tile, and when you're placing a building, the tile your mouse is hovering over becomes its detection tile. When a duplicant uses the building, no matter which tile they visually appear to stand on, they're actually standing on the detection tile. Understanding this concept helps us figure out how light bonuses and radiation range work. To get the light bonus, we only need to make sure the light covers the building's detection tile. This way, duplicants will receive the bonus while working. The same applies to radiation. If the detection tile is placed outside the radiation range, duplicants can avoid being exposed. I also usually use a mod that enables a research queue, so duplicants can keep researching without me having to manually select a new project every time. Also, both sides of my base use rooms that are generally four by 16 tiles. If your rooms are larger or smaller, feel free to adjust the setup to match your own layout. All right, that's all for this episode. If you found the video helpful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm Fan, see you next time.